Miles coming up on this week's episode to go with the heat. The team has to protect a bratty punk rocker who's a witness in a drug lord's trial in the episode Line of Fire. On this week in Vice, we're taking a look back to when this episode of Miami Vice aired. From December 11th to December 17th, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on December 16th, crackpot conspiracist Lyndon LaRouche was found guilty of mail fraud and attempting to defraud the IRS. In January 1989, LaRouche was sentenced to 15 years in prison but would be released in 1994. Thirteen additional associates of LaRouche were found guilty of mail fraud and conspiracy as well. In music, Look Away by Chicago continues their reign on the top of the Hot 100, so we go to the archives. Peaking at number three is Giving You the Best That I Got by Anita Baker. From the album of the same name, the song was nominated for four Grammy Awards, and the certified platinum album won a Grammy Award for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance. This was the highest performing song by Baker in her only number one pop album. In movies, over the last few weeks, we've had quite a roundtable of movies. From They Live to Scrooge, there's been quite a mix of movies with a constant change at the top of the box office. It's time to settle down now as we'll have the same number one for the next three weeks. What could possibly top Child's Play or Line Before Time? How about the buddy cop film Twins? You heard me. Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito, the film follows the long-lost brothers who were separated at birth, who are different in both appearance and personality. Of all the Schwarzenegger films of the 80s, this is the one I'd like to forget. However, Danny DeVito is always a treat. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.